So I have a working setup with ROS2 plus ROS2 controls, Gazebo, and the LSS Humanoid. I'm running the ROS2 Gazebo plugin in a debug session and then starting the rest of the nodes uh, in the standard ROS2 launch. So we'll come up with a robot here in a moment. So this is not quite what I'm looking for. Looks like the robot is breakdancing. Gazebo is simulating the robot at this point, and it looks like the joints are moving so wildly that the robot is defying gravity, almost like a ninja in a way. The inertia of those, of those joints moving are actually defying the force of gravity. So let's slow this down a little bit, take a closer look at how these joints are moving. So we can see the legs are what, what is doing all of the motion here. And in this video here, it's spinning from its accumulated uh, momentum, even though the legs aren't moving a lot in this particular spot. It's nice that with Gazebo, I can slow down the simulation, uh, turn one second into, say, a minute. And although it looks like we're going fast through this analysis, this actually took quite a while to really figure out what's going wrong here. And in this case, I mean, we're seeing the legs are crossing. And they definitely shouldn't be crossing like that, especially with the collision detection on. So I'm trying to take a closer inspection of the robot to try to figure out uh, why it's moving positions like this. And I start to see something. Some of these joints are just not connected exactly like they should be like that leg joint. What's also interesting is this is only in the legs. Why is it the legs that are having such an issue, not the arms, for example? We can see in this case, the motor for the hip is actually almost thrown out of position. This is when I realize this is likely due to self-collision between the links and the joints. Specifically in the hip, we don't just have a single joint, we actually have a universal joint there, which is made up of three different joints, the roll, the pitch, and the yaw, all within that same point in space. Gazebo does not check collisions between the visual humanoid body parts. That would be way too slow for high density models. Instead, I supply in the URDF model very simple box geometries for the collision detection. In the case of that universal hip joint, these boxes overlap, which is apparently acceptable for adjacent joints but in this hip joint, we have three overlapping joints, which is what's causing me the problem, I think. So from here, I'm going to go back and revisit those collision models and refine them just enough to give each one clearance of the other. I have the joint control for this simulation wired up to ROS into trajectory and PID control loops from the ROS2 controls project. The simulated robot also includes an IMU as well. This is a big milestone because ROS2 controls will also provide these trajectory and PID services on the real robot. These state and control points are then fed into the existing humanoid dynamics node, which implements our walking and balance algorithms. Now, from its point of view, it can't tell the difference between a physical robot or this one under simulation. I can then move this simulation into the machine learning server. And that is where I can tune the hyperparameters of our walking and balancing algorithms, and then move that whole system back onto the physical robot. 